Okay, yes, we are live. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how to prepare for your post UME exam. Okay, okay, three tips how to prepare. All right, um, if this is your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials is an educational channel on YouTube where we help students uh, with their exams, your JAM, your YEC, uh, your junior YEC, GC, and also we have a channel for the junior ones. That's your DTW Tutorials Junior. If you search on YouTube, just add Junior. You'll see where we prepare students for common entrance and also for their junior YEC, GEC. <clears throat> okay, so you can share that with your siblings. All right. Uh, so if it's your first time, please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, so you're instantly notified, all right, of every educational, motivational video we upload here, all right? So today, I'm going to be talking about how to prepare for your post-UME 2023, all right? Um, the last video I did was on what's next after JAM. So what next is post-UME? And the first, uh, so I have three tips. The first tip you need to know, I want this video to be short, so I'm going to be a bit fast, okay, is the first one is you need to know your school, the university, okay, their, their admission method, their screening method, know your university, okay, admission screening method, all right, because it's not all schools that you are going to sit for an exam. All right. It's not all schools that you do post UME. Some schools you will just you will just calculate. They'll calculate your aggregate, your YEC, and uh, your JAM score. That's all. Um, like um, for last year, twenty twenty two, Unilag did. Unilag did not sit. There was no physical exams. All right. Um, it was just your aggregate score, just your YEC and your JAM score. When you meet up, uh, meet the cutoff. So they release the cutoff once. Your YEC, um, there's a way you calculate it. There's, I'm going to drop the link to the video of how to calculate your aggregate, okay, for your admission. So I'll leave the link. I've done that video before. So I'll leave the link. So several schools and the way they calculate theirs. All right. So uh, it's not all schools that would do the physical exam. So know your school's admission screening method. Okay. So once you know that, that you are going to sit for an exam, then you have to now start preparing. But once you know, okay, it's um, just screening, just your aggregate and your jam, always make sure you follow up um, the school or when they'll release the cutoff mark for several departments and all that, okay? So once you know that, and also prepare, because there will be a physical screening, apart from if you're not going to, those for those who will sit for the exam, if... There's going to be a physical, physical screening where you have to dress well. You have to dress well. Don't dress anyhow because they can still redraw admission from you. Okay, even if you meet the old cutoff and all, dress well. There's a physical, um, how will I put it, interview. I will call it like an interview where you present all your results. Make sure your WIAC results are complete. And if you're trying to combine two results, make sure the school or the department accepts combination of results. If they don't, um, I think, I don't know if there's any GC in between here and there, but YA registration has already closed. So, but before, before now, you should know if the school accepts combination of results or not. So confirm that. If they do, I know which one they do, they accept combinations. It's NECO and WAEC and all that. So you need to know all this, okay? So if you're not doing the physical exam, which is test, which is post UME, there's also going to be a physical interview, okay? So make sure you also prepare for that too, and you're following up with information on your school. So that's number one. So when you know you are going to do a physical test where you're going to write just like a jam again, then you have to start preparing. Once you know your school is going to do that, start preparation. Okay? And to start preparation is knowing, getting the past question of your university. They are posturing me past questions. Get them. Okay, I know I have some which I can forward to you. I'll leave a link where you can fill 
Um, I think I have Unizik, I have Unilag, but I don't think Unilag is going to do post UME exam this year again. Since they didn't do last year, I don't think they're going to do because they are combining two sets that will resume in September. So I don't think so. But still, you know, keep your ears open for that. So I have uh, Futo, I have uh, UI. So just the post UME past questions I have. Uh, once you fill in your uh, details, I would send them to you. Okay, you, I have Uniben. If you are going for Uniben, I have Uniben past questions that you can start that you can start studying with. Okay, I'm giving it out for free. All right, but uh, if you can always get one from the campus. All right, the past questions and. With the past questions, you have an idea of how the syllabus of the post UME has been. What questions? Where um, do they go further apart from your jam? Do they go deeper into like some touch some hundred level um, topics and all that? So, with those questions, with those past questions, you would prepare well. Okay, OAU. I know their past question. Their questions are, in fact, they are marvelous. Tick. Engineering, medicine, very, very conk question. So start preparing now. Don't relax. Don't relax because you, you scored 300 and above. No, don't relax. Please. You know, relaxation is about confidence. Don't, don't. And for those who even maybe you score 250, 230, don't feel like you can still make it. You can still get admission. Don't just give up and just drop it. Don't give up. Still sit for the posterior me. You never can tell. Prepare for the post UME. Prepare as if you are preparing. Let's say you just say, oh, my score is low. Let me just start preparing for the next year. Prepare for the post UME as if you are reading also. Prepare and go and sit for it. Okay? Don't give up. All right? And people with 300 above, don't relax. Start preparation now. So get their past question. Create a study plan for yourself. Every day I'm going to read so, so, so. We might think, you know, September is the next intake. You just have, uh, this is me, June, July, August, three months. So you have three months to study. So please don't think there's so much time. No, 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 there's no time. Start preparation early. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Okay, so study, plan, create one. I'm going to read three hours in a day. I'm going to read, you know, create a very good um, timetable, study timetable for yourself and get past questions and practice and practice them. Make sure every day you are reading something. If you are, if you are going to sit for post -game, make sure every day that you read at least two hours, three hours. Okay. Cause I know, you know, after exam, you are relaxed, you know, watching movies, your favorite series and all that, playing your games, but please make sure every day, three hours you study. Okay, please, please. Now, the final tip I have for you is stay updated. Okay? Always make sure you visit the school website to check on news. All right? The school website, you see, you would see news on, you know, admission, when post UME form is out. Even for those that are not going to sit for tests, exam tests, you also have to post purchase the form. You also have to feel that. So make sure you stay updated. All right. On when the school release the form, you know, you, you fill the form, go on the school website, put in your details, upload your WIAC result. Please, uh -huh. upload of WIAC result. Very important. Please, I beg you. This has made some people miss admission opportunities. Make sure when it's time, when the school say, please upload WIAC result, upload on your jam portal too. Also on the university side too. Please, 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 please. Don't don't fall a victim of this not uploading WIAC result. Please upload your WIAC result. Emphasis on this. Please upload it, okay? For those sitting for WIAC, mainly your WIAC results are out. Upload your WIAC result. For those that already have your WIAC, upload your WIAC result. Please, I can't mention enough. A lot of students have miss, missed admission. Admission, their admission because they didn't upload their WIAC results on both the jam caps and your university okay um, um site all right so uh so stay updated uh, with the school website on the school website also join the school you see some serious facebook groups i'm not saying you should go there and start getting distracted okay go there for just information visit there to get information all right on the facebook group, ask questions on the schools you know there are groups Okay, active groups that would, you know, 
people really uh, share information on updates on the school. So join all those groups. Those would also help you stay update, uh, updated about your schools, um, admission screening, and all. All right. So these are the three tips. Once you have this, ah. Uh, if you follow these um, tips um, I've just mentioned, this, I'm sure by God's grace you would gain admission into your choice university. Okay, for those that uh, you know you scored 200 and above, there are also good polytechnics you can go. There's Yaba College of uh, Technology. There are several beautiful um, polytechnics that can you can still gain admission into. Okay, I would try to do a video on that. Okay, specifically for people that scored 200 and above several admission um several ways that you can gain admission into school i'll try to do that video all right so thank you for staying to the end of this video there's a group um dtw tutorials um facebook group for undergraduates where we'll be sharing information on several schools they are posting me information news and all that to be shared on the group so you can join the facebook group i'll leave all links in the video description box of this video okay and the link to get the past questions where you fill in your email i will send it to your email box i'll leave the link in the video description box of this video okay is there any other thing no other thing and um, the video on how to calculate your aggregate score for admission i'll leave the link in the video description box so finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life you know, live every life, you know, every uh, life that you know that is not right. Leave it behind. Repent and give your life to Christ. Proclaim him as your Lord and personal Savior. And he's going to make your life beautiful once more. Beautiful once more. A new con creation he would make you. A new creature he would make you. Okay? And give you that that beauty, that glory, that love and joy, peace, that perfect understanding in your life. All right. So come out of any sin, any sin, any sin, come out and give your life to Jesus and he'll give you the power to overcome all those sins. OK, so please, please. He's coming back soon. Jesus is coming back soon. Give your life to Christ for he is the way, he's the truth and he's the life. All right. Thank you and see you in our next video.